Greetings, free people. Greetings, free people. This is an image. Of the 1492 invasion. Of this Western Hemisphere. And this is the Spanish, the Spaniard, Spain. And you can notice the boat they have out there. And their Spanish cross. That cross transferred to the British. At first it was the Spanish, uh, you know. So the British have that very same emblem, as you would call it. Sometimes them see a picture, you know. Yeah, but uh, way more than a thousand words, just a picture. And in you know, the picture, you can depict a noble group of people, but you know, have feathers in their head, not fez. So these are not Africans. These are what you call the Indians, West Indians. Yeah. And if you pay attention, these people are greet these foreign strangers with food. While if you notice, the foreign strangers have swords in their hand, weaponry, and them a plant, them foreign flag, them banner. On our side, so this is the invasion. And pay attention again to how docile this specific group is. Not all of us is that way. So it is interesting, you know. We look across the eastern hemisphere, as it would be called, and we we'll see Africa. I truly a step up and I try them very best to unite themselves outside of the colonial, you know, input outside of the colonial aid. Outside of the colonial intervention. So once them can unify themselves where they might look at themselves for who and what they are, then this is when them truly are gonna know themselves as one people. And then the ones them that are not will easily be identified. You know, uh, I'm not sure your dark skin mean you really of our kin. This is where the problem come in. Some some of them make religion of them acting silly over there. But I like Burkina Faso, Niger, those kind of location where I step up. And identify the true culprit, where France, as one of those colonizing empire, is the culprit, is the instigator behind the terrorism that's going on over there in that region of Africa. Yet the world stays silent. France is not the only that's a colonizing force that implement these kind of policies. It was straight across the board, not to exclude the British Empire, that United Kingdom, it was Anglo. Saxon type of people, foreign type of people. And these are the people where race out of them location like 
low cost across the earth. Land pirate everywhere they go, they consume the land and then take it over. They usurp the area and its people. No different from what that counterfeit Israeli state is doing. Why I call them counterfeit? Because from my due diligence, they are not the true Judean. You understand? And they can't be. Those people were converted to that religious concept. And then them spoil it. And they are Zionists. This is why we as a people have to be, you know, more cognizant of world affairs. Uh, we see where this counterfeit Israeli state and its Prime Minister, Netanyahu, that shall be charged for war crime, is complicit in the genocide of a people. We don't know the Palestinian like that. I know of no kind of relation to Palestinian. However, it is hard for a man to look at a superpower proxy who totally a choice to decimate a people, irrespective of who the people is. It's called genocide. The very same thing I go on. You know, the Congo area right now, but news not really cover that information. And this is going on in Africa, just like over what they call Gaza and Palestine. All of these places look like North Africa to me. Yeah, man. But again, because we here in the West are so colonized, our colonizers has perfect their enslavement of us as a people to the best of, of their ability. This is why I am on choose to advocate radically. Yeah, when we say radical, when I mean violence and badness, in fact, you know, I like to try to put it in a writing and then we can look at it. Right here, we have radical use as an adjective, it's a, especially of change or action. So we will say radical change or action relating to or affecting the fundamental nature of something. Yes, we notice the word fundamental nature says to the core and root. And it's a far reaching or thorough. Yeah. <laughs> As a sentence, you just say a radical overhaul of the existing regulatory framework. Yeah, that's what we deal with. That's, you know, how we rather approach this thing advocating or based on thorough or complete political or social change, not political, but social change, or representing or supporting an extreme or progressive section of a political party. We're non-political, we're not getting involved here. We now we can understand what we're going on in the arena. It's too corrupt. So we're not getting involved. This is why we said, Choose to the free. You know, we we'll place we'll information out there on the public record as such. And all we choose and want is to be left alone. That's it. No ask to nothing. You know what I mean? More than, you know, the Crown agents and its agency, you know, know its place, know its limitation, and maintain it. Govern themselves accordingly. You know, a racial, a radical activist. I would say the word radical used as a noun, a person who advocates thorough and complete political or social change, same thing. 
or a member of a political party or a section of a party pursuing such evil. Then we look at the word radical as an adjective. We are say radical relating to the major groupings into which humankind is sometimes divided based on physical characteristic or shared ancestry. So this is when no one can racially profile you according to your physical characteristics or a shared ancestry racially. So, let me have a next look of phrase, a racial minority. Now, what are the word provocative, an adjective causing anger or another strong reaction, especially deliberate, that's provocative. A provocative art, article or provocative remarks about foreign policy. So, you know, it has a thought provoking, not, you know, nothing to do with nothing sensual or anything like that. Just provocative, thought provoking, make you have to think, and then it could even upset your thought, make you angry because you yeah, said this can't be real, this can't be true, but yes, it is. You are enslaved. We are being enslaved. This is why a crown agent can see me on the road and kidnap me and he's backed by the crown agency. You understand? And they put it through what is known as their legal process in order to fleece your juristic entity which is your birth bond issued from your birth trust which represent a surety or insurance for all your activity within that foreign arena. This is how simple it is to us. Yeah, man. So we bring information, we provoke your thought, you know? Yeah, man. Thought provoking. Yeah, you have to say, no, man, this can't read. Let me just turn off that. And then we look at racism as a noun. It's a prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism by an individual, or a community, or an institution, such as the Crown, Foreign Crown Agency, against a person or a people based on their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. So like when we choose to say our work in the nation in America, that is our society. Then because most people don't know of this and never hear of it, this kind of concept. Everybody know about Maroon. Everybody know about more and, and more science and all of these things. But when I say uh, West Indian, American Indian, Awak Indian, or Arawak Indian, not necessarily Taina, but them have that concept too. But we have made our claim. We say we are Awak Indian. You understand? So this is why a man such as I is being discriminated against by this crown agency and its agents. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, because we're a minority, it seems. Only because the majorities don't know themselves. Everybody want to go back to Africa, which is fine. So we are being marginalized by this foreign crown agency. We can go as far and say racism is based on the Foreign Crown Agency's statutory color of law, which is prejudicial, discriminatory, or antagonizing and is enforced by Crown agents acting as policy enforcers. Yeah. With them, I will clap it and it go way over people's head, but we have to bring it this way. Uh, to manifest itself 
uh, our people is totally unaware of their enslavement, especially in this, you know, side of things, this hemisphere. On the mainland, it's like la la la, it's like Hollywood over there. Yeah, I'm on. Dry dreams over there. Yeah, got a big foreign congress with a slew of foreign people is there and they can't see those people. You understand? They can't see their colonizers. They can't see the oppressors. Yeah, they are totally, you know, indoctrinated to the state of, you know, say, completely colonized. Because their discussion is about everything else except saying freedom, freedom, and freedom here. Everything else except saying we are free, we should be free, we will be free. Yeah, and these guys love commerce. They're always an engage or an entertain or a solicit some commercial activity, which is foreign to us as a people. So I salute certain countries over there in Africa when them say decolonization down to the very names of the roads that has colonization written all over it and change it. Um, these are things where we need to look at. Some of these St. Mary and some of all of these foreign names I wouldn't know about. We have to change these things. In fact, we have to move the colonial title of Jamaica. Better we say I, Maika. At least, because we always have say Za, Mayaka. But again, because our people totally unaware of the sophisticated enslavement being imposed, brought upon our people, then we not talk about being free. We are look out there at everybody else and I tell them how them to be free. But you know, it's not in our people's narratives. Just pay attention. Listen to everybody we are speak out there. Probably this platform and, you know, I'm not sure how much others. We can say our advocacy is freedom, freedom in the end, freedom me. Yeah, man. Everybody else of all different kind of, you know, commercial profit are gain somewhere and nothing wrong with it. But I said, Establish yourself as free people and then we'll just step forward that way, opposed to being subjected to some, you know, foreign crown agency that employs some people that is usually beneath us and just have access to our inheritance and our, you know, wealth out there so them can drive fancy cars and wear fancy clothes but lack integrity, lack morality, lack decency. They're all politicians out there. Yeah, man. So, it's incumbent upon the man or woman to choose to apply themselves for themselves. And fear if you want somebody to do it for you. When you have no interest for yourself. So we have to step up to the table man. Acknowledge the facts that, uh, you know, something is truly wrong out there. And we're now going to find answers in our absolutely no political arena. Yeah, not this political system. It's already flawed. So we have to get rid of that totally and stand up in our true capacity as West Indian, as American Indian, and unite ourselves within what they might call Caribbean. So when we say West Indian, the true ones know themselves, because they know them not from here, from the Africa, from the boat. 
But then they will point upon all of these foreigners that came on in crowds, in vain. And then you sir, our area. The original people can always look and say a foreigner them, them on, irrespective of what they must say. Trace them ancestry somewhere over there in the east, northeast. But have nothing to do with this area, the west, especially the southwest. So again, information share, you know. The brave may fall, but never yield. And we said bold and brave. We said firm and strong. Or walk in their nation. Why there's so much information share where it just go for people. Eh? Yeah, man. But again, you know, only the truth can resonate with the one that where, you know, it truly stimulates. So we'll just continue to share with information. Celebrate. Yeah. Irrespective of how it is, we have to live our best life. Because this is what it is. And the ones that have to do them best to maintain the temple, which is the physical structure. We yeah. try to house something much greater. This is that divine spark. Amongst a bond them, a run them, a shun them. Pure. Yeah. Yeah. Give thanks out there. If only you out there knew you were slaves and how you were being enslaved. Yeah, man. Then, you know, a lot of. Narrative would have changed. Yeah, man. Well, just check the information and look for yourself and ask yourself the question, you know? Yeah, why do we have our head of state where represent some foreign crown? And why do we have a foreign crown agent that propose themselves as if they are God? And they are not far removed from it. These are the questions. Why is the criminality so normalized in our region? Why is that? Why is that the, 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 the minister for national security, his constituency is leading in criminality and then the prime minister's constituency is running a beautiful second. Why is that? Why is it we can hear on the news? Police and criminal out there in a one hour, two hour gun battle in a certain location. And then the next day you, don't, you, you hear nothing at all, you know? Nobody arrested. No arms found. So where them armament and where them soldier the deck like after this soldier. Uh, when I hear nobody dead after two after twenty minutes of gunfire and when I hear nobody dead, it got to be police and soldier at it. So I man say watch ya. I know mine are mine our business, so I wanna for us leave I alone. Um, been in a phone of business. You understand? Uh, politics come and spoil this location, and this is why we are in this state. People them um, degrade to this state because they don't have nobody to elevate them intellectually, to stimulate them or motivate them on that level. If the government start out saying it's government badness, then why are we surprised when the place is like this? No surprise. You guys are the orchestrators. You guys are the true culprits. But again, small platform, you know what I mean? Still a voice in the wilderness. And we're not beg nothing. Yeah. Yeah, man, we're not solicit nothing. 
we just access the information here yeah, where to make you free. No man not to ask you about visa when you are West Indian. You get me? Because West Indian rebuilt Britain and West Indian America is just that. So we don't need visa for your moving at the Americas. It's asinine when when you look at the people at the borders talking about immigration, they are foreigners to these Americas, what I'm called North, South, and Central, which is just one America, really, one continent. Anyway, information share. Wall out. Wall out. Yeah, man. Salute out there.